Hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel. My name is Luis Perteles and for today's video we are going to be talking about Miss Planet International, unfortunately, once again. <laughs> so for those of you who have been here on the channel for quite some time or even for the past few days, you know that probably two days ago I made a video about um, Miss Planet International and whether or not Perlene Boudol had any chances of snatching the crown in this international pageant. The reason why I decided to make this video is because precisely a lot of you guys um, reached me individually. You sent me a DM or a message on Facebook and you let me know that you wanted me to talk about Helene and her chances of uh, winning a crown for the Philippines. What I'm going to say, and just to kind of summarize what we discussed in this particular video, was that Helene, of course, comes from a very privileged position in a way because she's representing a country with a sash factor. She is also pretty much like a, a huge influencer back home. And because of that, her support system was really, really crazy. Um, however, for the past few days, um, actually, I should say for the past few hours, there have been news coming out that it seems that many contestants are complaining about Miss Planet International saying that perhaps it might be a scam. And up until recently, Sir Wilbert Tolentino, who is Helene's manager himself, put out a statement saying that he has decided to withdraw uh, Helene from the competition. So we're just going to be talking about that. But just to set the tone for the video, I just wanted to share with you guys um, a video that actually I showed during my previous video which will give you an idea of what the pageant looked like, what the candidates looked like, and what the energy um, felt like during the event. So here we go. I will be right back after the video. Argentina! Botswana! Brazil! Czech Republic! Burundi! Democratic Republic of Congo! Ireland! Jamaica! Cordoba! Burkina Faso! New Zealand, Colombia, Norway, Portugal, Chile, India, Ethiopia, Ghana, Germany, Guinea, Peru, Philippines, Sierra Leone, South Africa, Lesotho, Sudan, Mexico, Nigeria, Nepal, the Netherlands, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Senegal, Syria, Tanzania. All right. So I remember sharing this video during my previous live stream because I thought that there was something really odd about it. Not only we are having the session ceremony completely outside, we had the candidates walking on grass, I mean, wearing the long gowns uh, and pretty much, you know, damaging the fabrics and perhaps just even getting the, the gowns dirty, which is something that we don't see very often in pageantry, like activities outside in evening gowns and this type of things don't happen at all. So for me, that was kind of a red flag. And I think that during that previous video, I shared my sentiment of there's something weird, there's something odd. But quite honestly, I didn't think that there was going to be a scam or anything of the sorts because um, actually I did my research for previous editions of Miss Planet International. And now that I think about it, there was a huge flag and is that a huge red flag and is that uh, for the past three years, there have been no actual pageant, but the addition that they had in 2019 seemed to be pretty legitimate. I even shared a snippet of the show and told you guys of how beautiful the, the production was. And up until now, although the events were not living to my expectations, I was hoping that perhaps for the preliminary competition or for finals, they will come up with something a little bit more elaborate. I also thought that, you know, sometimes it's not just about how good it looks or the glitz and glams because we did get some, um, you know, footage of Helene interacting with a lot of the local kids, uh, having activities outside. They went to the, um, the television station. They went to different places. Of course, we also got to see a lot of footage um, of Helene interacting with the other candidates, which, you know, was very good. I mean, at the end of the day, when you go to a pageant, it's not just about winning the crown, but also about the bonding experience coming up, you know, creating friendships and, experiencing something that you wouldn't be able to experience by yourself back in your home country. I don't know if you guys agree with that or if you're following me up until then, but um, pretty much that's how I feel. Well, it seems like things started to get out of control 
when some of the contestants started um, publicly addressing the situation on social media. Uh, and I'm just going to bring some of them here, some of the screenshots that were shared uh, on social media earlier. So here we have, I believe that this is Miss uh, Jamaica, who has been publicly saying thank you all for your support up until this moment. Unfortunately, the competition has been canceled, but it was such an honor to have the chance to represent my beautiful Jamaica again. For me personally, this seemed to be like a rushed statement in the beginning because when Miss Jamaica came out with this statement, there was absolutely no confirmation from the organization that there was going to be, the pageant was going to be canceled or that there was even an issue to, to begin with. Uh, but this was quickly followed by other contestants also addressing the issue, saying... Um, this one right here mentioned, I have to apologize, but unfortunately we were robbed. We haven't had even 10% of the activities. Nothing was paid, not, nor our accommodation, not our food. We're stuck in, in Uganda. We have been trying to solve it. Even those, uh, who were not involved into the pageant paid their own money to keep our food, uh, to keep us fed and safe. Sorry, there are some typos in the post. Uh, I couldn't be silent anymore. I apologize for everybody who put a lot of effort in us, monetary or mentally wise, but this has to be seen by public. Uh, please share. So anyways, the contestant is just coming out and saying that uh, it seems like you know, the things that were promised and the things that are basic for a pageant for a pageant to be able to take place, such as accommodation, such as food, just making sure that you have the bare minimum, those things were not being given to the contestants. So, and I don't know if you guys recall, but during my previous video, I did mention, because um, a lot of people wanted to know, do I think that if I believe that Helene Boudol have what it takes to actually win the international pageant. And I said, yes, of course. I mean, she has a huge support system, all of that. She's going to be great for visibility. But simultaneously, there were a few moments where I noticed in Sir Wilbert, Wilberto's vlogs that he mentioned that uh, they were not staying in the same hotel with the girls. And for me, that was kind of weird because why would you stay at a different location when in reality you're supposed to be present at the pageant? People are supposed to be with you and you know, just bonding and sharing that experience together. Um, so initially I took it as if Herlene was just, you know, staying by herself and not really spending time with the girls, um, which automatically I thought it was going to take away from her performance and even take away perhaps the, um, the possibility of winning the title. But now with all of the girls coming out with these public statements, it kind of makes a lot of sense, especially... Herlene traveled with her team. You know that her manager was with her. She had a translator as well because she was not very fluent in English. So she needed a translator with her at all times. Um, and yeah, it just kind of, you know, makes sense at this particular point that she was being distant from the girls and the organization because clearly they didn't know what, were, what they were doing, what was going on. There is a little bit more of clearance coming up, but I'm just going to share another post from another candidate. Uh, she mentioned, it doesn't stop me from standing where I have been standing to say out loud that I believe what I believe and and support because I've been supporting. Okay, just give us some time to figure everything out, please. All we know, we are leaving the country as soon as possible. So... I mean, let's go back to the entire purpose of Miss Planet International, and it's an advocacy. It's um, it's an eco-friendly uh, pageant. Let's call it that that way. It's kind of, in a way, it kind of wants to follow the same pattern as Miss Earth, as Miss Eco International, and all of these pageants. But um, with the difference that this is a pretty new pageant, and um, they were just kind of starting to build a name for themselves. For me, they kind of look promising. I even mentioned at some point that Binibini Filipinas should um, buy the franchise for the Philippines and bring it back home so that it becomes one of the crowns that were awarded during the, the coronation night back home. But clearly, there was something off with the entire thing, and um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But anyways, um, let's go straight to the most important part, and that is what Sir Wilbert had to say himself on his social media about the entire situation and about Herlene. So he did mention that due to uncertain uncertainties by the orga organizers, I have decided to withdraw Herlene Boudol from the competition des despite numerous attempts to fix some pageant uh, debacles. It seems like the Ugandan government has no initiative to intervene. 
Sorry, I'm just going to wear my glasses because I'm a little bit blind. <laughs> we apologize to the supporters who were rooting for us uh, since day one, to the team, sponsors, and designers. Thank you, and I am sorry. Thank you to the Filipino community in Uganda for the comfort and well wishes, especially, you know, he goes into some specific thanks and acknowledgement. Um, and he says that he's grateful for everyone to for keeping him, Herlene, and the entire team safe and protected at all times. Uh, he does mention feeling very hurt um, as a national director, but also as Herlene's manager, because they not only did lose a crown, they lost a lot of money, effort, and time, of course. Um, and I mean, at this point, they're just saying that they're going back home, uh, which makes absolute sense. I think that this is a very sad way to end the experience for Helene. And that was one of the things that I touched on last time when we made this type of videos is that Helene mentioned that she was only going to do one pageant. She was not going to go again and try it over and over as some girls do, which there's nothing wrong with that. But we know that she has a huge career already. She's very known. So pageantry is just kind of like a sidekick for her. And I think that she was doing it out of, you know, passion for it. So... Whenever she was assigned the responsibility to represent the country at Miss Planet International, it was kind of a great moment, a celebration, because we know that she ended as a runner-up during the final coronation, and so many people were hoping that she would be able to obtain a crown. So this was kind of a second chance, an opportunity to obtain that, and now she's going back with, um, with that frustration that pretty much it was a scam. However, I still think that Herlene, Wilbert, and the entire team should be proud of the effort that they put and at least they try their best to represent everyone fairly. And I just wanted to ask you guys for your opinions because I've been reading a lot of comments online, people blaming Wilbert for this, saying that uh, this was all planned by him, that they think it's a publicity stunt, that they think that you know there's more to the story than what they are revealing to the public. Personally, I don't have enough information to really position myself regarding that topic because I don't know this guy and I don't really know what's happening in Uganda. So right now we are still getting updates as the time passes by. So um, I guess that we will have to wait a little longer. Maybe when she comes back to uh, the Philippines, we'll know what is truly, truly happening. And I just wanted to close this entire thing by kind of acknowledging something that I thought it was very suspicious since the beginning because we know that Herlene at the moment is under contract with Binibini Pilipinas she, she, and the, uh, she ended as a runner-up during the coronation night and the fact that they gave permission for her to go to the pageant but never really acknowledged it on their social media was very suspicious I don't know if they saw the red flags themselves I don't know if they knew something that we didn't I don't know if they decided to allow her to go but not be associated with it um, and I think that at the end of the day, it was a smart move because obviously Binibini Pilipinas has this kind of like legacy and reputation, um, which if they associated themselves with this entire thing, that will just take away from their shine. Anyways, that is at least um, some of the news that we have up until now, the updates and the chismes that I had to share for today. Please let, let me know in the comment section, how do you feel about this entire thing? your theories and stuff i want to read it all so i will be going through your comments uh if you enjoyed this video and want more content don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys soon with more chismes okay thank you for joining stay safe and see you next time bye